Aloha Friday. You know what today is? I'm at the first Dollar Tree right by my house. And it's a good sign. I see the... I see the... Um, sorry about that. The Weekly Wow. Look at that. It's in the window. They're okay. These are no Blu-rays. Dollar Tree. And the Weekly Wow, the poster's out, so it looks good. Got you. Wow. Got another Dollar Tree. They don't even have the Weekly Wow sign out. Oh boy. This is a bad Friday. They have some movies, but not a lot. That's our old news. Like Dollar Tree, but I'm not expecting much from this one because they're really off schedule. No. Blue. Dollar Tree, and they have the Weekly Wild sign. Oh, Today we got Giamelli's pastrami. Ooh. They pile it on so much. Wow. And I love me that... Whew. I don't even know if I can get my mouth around this sucker. Oh, it's... tree uh oh boy doesn't look good the weekly wow is hangers let's keep our fingers crossed it's like the blu-rays never made it to southern cow DVDs. Again. oh wow at another dollar tree but the truck's blocking it hopefully they'll have something here I asked and the manager was nice enough to bring it out, but I don't see blue trees. I don't know where I am. This says Dollar Tree though. There's no sign. I'm desperate. Hopefully they have some. I don't know if they're new, but we'll find out. Here we are at another Dollar Tree. This one I usually go first, but now a new manager took over, so if there are movies, they put it out really late. Well, let's see. Oh! Weekly Wow is in the movie. So, it's mostly old stuff. Oh boy. No Blu rays. Another Dollar Tree, and I had great parking, and they have the posters. Hey, I hope. I am poopsie. I drove over 130 miles today so I could get Dollar Tree stuff for myself subscribers to watch. Here we go. I'm having a s senior citizen's attack. I don't remember if I went to this Dollar Tree yesterday or not. Well, we're going again and they do have the Weekly Wow movie sign. They don't have much. Hello. Ha. It's the Goy Hunter. This is my I don't know what I think this is the second Dollar Tree haul, but this is the day of the Dollar Tree release. So, I got so much i picked up i went to i don't know 10 or 11 stores i have so much to go through i don't want to bore you so i might go a little fast and if there are more than three movies on the um in the dvds then i'm just gonna show it i'm not gonna read all the movies so you don't fall asleep i don't want the glory hunter to bore you to death anywho Let's start. Oh, is there anything I got to say? No. Okay. Uh, the first one I picked up was a Dolph Lundgren six movie collection. Here you go. Here's the back. Uh, you can pause it if you'd like it to see what movies are on it. Okay. The next one I found was a five film Chuck Norris film. 
I think we're getting the rhythm now, right? Front, back, pause, and you can see the movies. And they are both Echo Bridge releases. Yay! Ooh, Echo Bridge! I gotta put them down here. Then we got a 19 action pack, Bruce Lee, Brandon Lee. Here you go. Um, it's another Echo Bridge. Unfortunately, there's only one Brandon Lee film, The Laser Mission. And none of these are the real Bruce Lee. These are all the uh, Bruce Lee's that um, they wanted to, after Bruce Lee died, they got guys who look like him to play Bruce Lee. But Echo Bridge, another one. Then I found this, Danny Boy, a five film bonus film. A War Dog, His Return Home. There you go. Cheer. You know I love my animal movies. Let me read you Danny Boy. Let's see. Has returned from canine. Oh, boy. He served a decorated hero. Now he's helping rehabilitate him in civilian life. Sorry, the sticker covered it. The next one I found was a Dog's Life collection. Here you go. Here is the back. There are the four movies. This is an Echo Bridge, Cool Dog, Finding Tin Tin, Rin Tin Tin, Angel Dog, Surviving the Wild. Okay. The next one I found was a documentary. It's a Magnolia. Yee! It's from the creators of Cocaine Cowboys, Square Grouper, The Godfathers of Ganji. There you go. The incredible true story of the 1970s pot smuggler culture there is the back and let's this looks interesting let's see in 1979 the u.s customs oh boy the sticker is covering it anywho uh this is but the ganji the next one i found i know a lot of people found it wow it feels empty I guess it's there's something. It's scary stories. Uh, the story of the books that frighten a generation. Here is the back. I know you probably watch the other YouTubers and they probably showed you this too. So I will do that quickly. Then I found this. It's a disc set. I didn't take the sticker off. It's Country Car Season 1. Uh, it's by the History Channel. Find them and flip them. I haven't seen anyone pick this up, so most people in Las Vegas bet with chips. But Danny, the court cooker, bets with cars. Huh. There you go. The next one I found was called In Control. Um, it's an Echo Bridge 3 movie. This is a increasingly paranoid sci-fi thriller. I don't recognize any of the stars. And it also has Hologram Man and Silencers. There you go. Here is the back. And, ooh. This slipcover wasn't in that great a condition, but hey, it's a slipcover, right? I love slipcovers. You all know that. Anywho, uh, this is uh, the first movie uh, in control. Samantha is a shy and retiring student working part-time to pay her way through college. She yearns for more excitement in her life, then meets Mark, a fellow student who has discovered a machine that projects consciousness into the minds of others. Oh boy. Trouble with a capital T. The next one I found, I was happy, unrated um, director's cut, Vin Diesel, The Chronic, the Chronicles of Reddick. Sorry about that. It's a widescreen. And as you know, it was a universal release. And there's a lot of bonus features in this. Over five minutes of deleted scenes. And I was glad to find a, a, a major motion picture studio release. Then we found this. Near Extinction. Uh, Near Extinction, Shangri-La. There you go. I know a lot of other YouTubers found this. And this was a MVD visual release. So that was yummy. 
And um, this one is about from the creator of the NBC hit series, Great. The stickers are covering it. Uh, this is, wow, this is recent. It's a 2019 release. This looks good. I'm going to watch that one. Then, excuse my Spanish, uh, El Morte, more, it's kind of like The Crow. It's the actor from uh, Wilmer Valdera, uh, The 70s Show, I believe. Uh, let's see, here's the back. This was an Echo Bridge release. And this is about 21-year-old Diego is dead, and yet he lives, trapped in a purgatory between this world and the next. Under the control of a vicious Aztec gods, he wanders the streets of L.A. to search for a human sacrifice with the ancient Christian bloodline that drove them from power. Wow, that sounds good. So that's a good one. Then I was so elated to find this. The Dead Zone. Season 2, starring Anthony Michael Hall. Remember him in 16 Candles? So, this was season 2, and I was so excited because I heard the series was pretty good. And it's based on the characters and story from the best-selling book by Stephen King. The Dead Zone is a unique psychological thriller that combines a rich mix of action. The paranorm paranormal and the continuing quest for justice. The next one I found was the Cisco Kid. Uh, this is a very, very retro old TV show. I personally never watched it, but it was starring Duncan uh, Rinaldo and Leo Carrero. I'm killing the name, sorry. Uh, this show was from the 1950s to 1956. Cisco and his hilarious sidekick, Pancho, were staples in countless family living rooms, every week traveling the Old West together. There you go. The Cisco Kid. Uh, I found another movie that I was excited about. Elijah Wood, Grand Piano, with John Cusack. Mag oh, Magnet. Magnet release. Hugely entertaining. Here is the back. Wow, they got happy with the stickers. Hopefully I can read in between. Let's see. Uh, Tom, Elijah Wood's character, is the most talented pianist of his generation, but has stopped performing in public because of his stage fright. Years after a cash catastrophic performance, he reappears in public for a long-awaited concert in Chicago. In a packed theater in front of an expectant audience, time Tom finds a message written on the score. Play one wrong note and you die. Oh boy. So apparently John Cusack is a sniper that left that note. The Grand Piano. The next one. Uh, I wish I found the Blu-ray of this. Uh, the Jeepers Creepers DVD version. Uh, with the pretty um, card cover. And here's the back. A lot of people found that I know. And then I found The Ghost Beyond. The Ghost Beyond. There you go. And two bonus movies, Beneath the Mississippi and Legacy of Evil. And this, this film was an Echo Bridge release. And it says, When a horror writer and his family inspect a century-old home, the real estate agent reveals that a little girl starved there. Oh boy, the mother, a brilliant um, doctor, isn't bothered by the spooky tale, but their son has already seen something suspicious. Don't tell me they still moved in. Oh boy, I guess if they don't, they don't have a movie. So that was The Ghost Beyond. The next one I found was Paranoia, Paranormal Collection, nine feature films, uh, another Echo Bridge release. Here is the back. If you want to pause it, you can see all the films listed. There you go. The next one I found was Fear the Dead Collection. Ten movies, another Echo Bridge release. Here is the back if you'd like to pause it again and see all the films. Um, oh my gosh. They have that movie Slipstream with Mark Hamill and um, Bill Paxton. 
this that movie was hilarious. Anyway, talk about B movies. Cheese Arama. The next one I found was uh, DC Comic Superheroes: The Filmation Adventures. There you go. Here is the back. Now this looks like a one that we picked up before, but it, it isn't. Because I double checked. And this is uh, DC Comics favorites Hawkman, Aquaman, and Superman. Along with the rest of the Justice League star in this action-packed Filmation Associates. Produce adventures that pit our heroes against alien invaders and fantastical creatures from the strange world. All intent on taking over planet Earth. So that sounded great, superheroes. The next one is the Dead Rising Endgame. It's based on the video game phenomenon. There you go. And Dennis Haysbert is in it. So he did a lot of movies in the early 2000s. And now he does the... What insurance company? I forgot. Here's the back. Uh, this is a Sony release, and this one is about after narrowly, narrowly escaping a zombie quarantine, Chase can't shake the guilt of having left the trusted colleague behind. Now as he heads back into the quarantine to expose the architects of the outbreak, he will uncover a secret more evil than he could imagine. Oh, dead rising. That's a fun game, by the way, if you do have it. Then I found this, Ace, Ace and Eights, uh, three movies, this, uh, Casper Van Dien is in this, Bruce Box Leitner, and Ernest Borgnine, that's pretty good. Here is the back, so there's a big old sticker there, so I can't read the synopsis, and that is an Echo Bridge release. Then I found this interesting movie, Lamb, with Liam Neeson. And seven bonus movies. A journey that will test your faith. Here you go. Here is the back. And they slapped that sticker on the synopsis, but let's I'll try and read some of it. In, at, in an Irish reform school, a priest, um, I guess it's Liam, whose faith is failing. Oh boy, I can't read it. Sorry about that sticker, but I found this, so that was interesting. Lamb! Then I found Simon and the Oaks with Bill Skarsgård. And, of course, everyone knows he's the clown in the new It. And one of the Skarsgård's boys. And this is an RLJ release. It's a, let's see... In the years leading up to World War II, two families who seemingly couldn't be more different find that they have more in common than they have, could have imagined. Simon is a bookish dreamer from a working class family in rural Sweden. Isaac is the son of a wealthy Jewish immigrant fleeing religious persecution in Berlin. So this is a great drama. Sounds great. Interesting. Good watch. The next one I was very excited to find, corny as all heck, Smother, Diane Keaton, Dak Shepard, and I don't know who the third star is because Walmart covered it. Here is the back. It was so nice to see Diane Keaton in a movie. And this is an Echo Bridge release. And this is 2018, so it's recent. Suddenly jobless physical therapist Dak Shepard arrives home to his suffocating mom. So it's a dramedy. Smothered. Diane Keaton. Excited to find that. Then I found Beyond the Mass. Devil Proof. It says really, really cool. Hmm. Here is the back. And this is a... Oh. Uh, Burns Family Studios, uh, 2015. The leading mercenary for the British in East India Company, Will Reynolds, has just been double-crossed and now is on the run in the American colonies. Working to redeem his name and win back the affections of Charlotte, with whom 
he never been fully truthful, Willow now hides behind a new mask in hopes of throttling his former employee. Huh. Sounds complicated. Interesting. Now we're going to start on our next, the next pile. I found Treasure Hunters along with Pacific Inferno and Sea Wolf. Now, I distinctly remember this movie because I thought it sounded very interesting. This is an Echo Bridge release, and I have a nice slipcover with it. This is about legend has told of an immense treasure of gold hidden on the Corregado Gido Island in the Philippines, buried there by the Japanese during World War II. A new clue to its location is discovered, sending two different teams on illegal digs. So that's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to watching this. I love treasure hunting movies. Now, the next one I found was Cyber Tracker with Don the Dragon Wilson. Now, that was a fine. And there's three bonus films. And here is the back. So. The bonus film is Cyber Tracker 2. No, I'm sorry, Ring of Fire and Ring of Fire 3, Lion Strike, all with Don the Dragon Wilson. Remember him back in the 80s? He was um, doing all those martial art films. Anywho, the next film I found was The Art of War Part 3 Retribution. Uh, if you do remember, Will, uh, Wesley Snipes did the first Art of War. And now, I don't even know they did a second one. I'm already at the third one. Let's see. Trust no one. And it's covered up. Hmm. Let's see. Um, it's, a, it's a mission to stop the North Korean terrorists from obtaining a nuclear bomb. Oh, interesting. And this is a, let's see. An action unleash, unleashed distribution. The next, ooh, I found another big title. Oh, but it's a full screen edition. Oh, well. The Dark Knight. The Dark Knight. I know everyone knows this film with Christian Bale and, of course, the late Heath Ledger as the Joker. Oh, but it's full screen, but that's okay. The next one I found was another Chuck, Chuck Norris. No, featuring Chuck Norris, 15 action film collection. Here is the... Wow, you're going to have to pause. There's a lot of reading there. Another Echo Bridge release. Oh, it has Steven Seagal in here. Let's see. Uh, Billy D. Williams. Bruce Lai. Pretty good. Pretty good selection there. Uh, the next one I found was Historical Battles That Shaped History. Big Battles of War. Ten documentaries. This looks very interesting. Here is the back. You can pause that. And let's see. The feature films are Pearl Harbor, A Day of Infamy, Battle of Britain, Death of a City, The Battle of Normandy. I guess those are the highlighted ones that are, are um, good. A recommendation from the company. It is an Echo Bridge release. Oh, now this I'm really looking forward to. Roger Corman sci-fi collection. Dino Croc. I know a lot of the other YouTubers found this. Here's the back. And um, hold on. I'm going to read a little of it. Imagine all the fury of a prehistoric carnivore combined with the ferocity of the largest crocodile known to man, and you have the makings of a nonstop terror. Wow, that sounds so good, because I love my creature features. I can hardly wait to watch this one. The next one I found was Asteroid, Final Impact, plus two bonus movies. A nice Echo Bridge release. I got the slipcover, so I was happy. Here's the back. Did, oh, I didn't show you the back yet. I'm sorry. Hold on. I'm trying to get that slipcover back on. Here is the back. 
and uh, the bonus movies is Project Viper and Dark Breed. And the asteroid film is Disgraced Astrophysicist Steve Thompson discovers that there is a dark asteroid invisible to the current detection system that would soon strike the Earth. Ooh, exciting. Then I found Epicenter, The Destruction is Endless, plus seven bonus movies. Another Echo Bridge release. Here is the back, if you like to pause it and see what other movies are on it. Let's see. After the FBI's hottest agent, Tracy Lords, brings in a wanted computer hacker, she must transport him from San Francisco to Los Angeles. But the trip doesn't go quite as planned when Mother Nature suddenly unleashes her fury in the form of a devastating earthquake. Epicenter. Then, I love PBS. I found this documentary, Craft in America. Craft in America. Nature. Artists explore the beauty and wonder of the natural world. So, who can appreciate good art? Right? Right. Beside all these movies, we need to let our creativity flow. The next movie I found was Dark House, Conquer Your Fear, another Echo Bridge release, plus two bonus movies, Grave Secrets, The Legacy of Hilltop Drive, and Empty Rooms. Here is the back. And the sticker is covering, oh boy. I'm so sorry, folks. Oh, but the sticker is not covering the DVD. Oh, boy. A real estate agent finds himself trapped in a house with a squatter. When he tries to get her to leave, she tells him that she can't, and neither can he. They aren't going anywhere unless they can conquer their fear and figure out what haunts the dark house. Wow, that sounds great. Go Echo Bridge. And then... Let's see, Grave Secrets, Nobody We Know. Sounds good, Dark House. The next one is Darkness Reigns with Casper Van Dien again. Be careful what you wish for. It looks like a werewolf movie. Here you go. Where's the glare? No glare. Uh, this, ooh, this is a Wild Eye release. And it says, a group of filmmakers shooting a behind-the-scenes documentary and a reportedly haunted hotel are faced with an unfathomable demonic force that possesses and attacks both the crew and the film star. Will the film's director be able to escape? Who knows? Oh, that sounds exciting. But why is there a picture? I guess that's not... That's a demon. It's, I, get, I don't know why I thought it was a werewolf. The next one I found was... Charismata, charisma, charismatic, charismata. Char I can't read right now. They're trying to be fancy and trick the goy hunter. Here's the back. Uh, the bonus feature, the bonus movies are Dark Spirits and Legacy of Evil. And this is about a rookie female cop, and the sticker is covering it. Face your demons. I guess it's a thriller. The next one I found was 17 Horror Classics from Kmart. And this is an Echo Bridge release. Here are the 17 horror movies. You can pause and read it if you'd like. Holy moly, that's a lot. I see a werewolf, she beast. Wow. Ooh, snow beast. Huh, I think, I think I already have that movie. Then I found The Best of Friends, the top five episodes of season one. So I was, I love Friends. I just like to keep it on in the background and, you know, mindless. But sometimes they teach you a lesson. So it's the one with the East German laundry detergent. 
the one with where the underdog gets away, the one with the stoned guy, the one with the birth, and the one where Rachel finds out. A Warner Brother release. Oh, I was so excited when I found this because everyone else found it. I finally found it, and I was patient. Cabin 28. Finally, I finally have this in my collection. It paid to wait. Usually I would go and buy it off of eBay, but I decided to wait, and waiting paid off. Let's see, 35 years on and still not solved. The shocking true story based on the most infamous unsolved murder case in American history. On April 11, 1981, Sue Sharp and her family are enjoying their stay at Cabin 28 in the peaceful holiday resort of Ketty. But a day of fun at the remote getaway turns into a heart-stopping nightmare as night falls and masks strangers to the cabin. A battle of survival. Cabin 28. I'm so glad I waited. Thank you, Dollar Tree. Thank you. The next one I found was Hostage X or Hostage 10. Comply or die. Comply or die. It is another Echo Bridge release. And this is about... Oh, a confused man wakes up, locked in a strange room, with absolutely no memory of who he is or how he ended up in the situation. He's being held captive by a bunch of armed mercenaries, but as they don't speak English, he struggles to piece the puzzle together. Meanwhile, a mysterious girl fights her way to get to him, but can he trust her when he doesn't remember a thing? Hostage 10 or X. The next one I found, I finally found this too. 20 movie collection, Nightmare Fuel. Finally. I think this patience is wearing, off, wearing me good. That didn't make sense, I'm sorry. So, Vincent Price, this is a Mill Creek release. And I was just excited. Dennis Quaid, Mark Hamill, Shannon Tweed, John Candy... Bill Paxton, Brandon Lee, Stephanie Powers, Jesse Ventura, Vincent Price, Christopher Lee. Excited to get this. Here, you could pause it and see all the movies right there. Okay, that's it. Then I found this Runaway Romance. It looked kind of funny. There you go. I think I picked it up because of the synopsis. And I will read it to you. This is why I picked it up. When Anne Stan Stanway finds out that her reality TV romance with her co-star Scott Adson is just for the camera, she quits the show and leaves Hollywood for the road. She ends up in Amish country where a new life and a new romance offer promise. You see, that's why I got it. It's so, it's so bizarre to me. Anyway, it looks fun. I'll watch it. Okay, I love Stuart Little ever since I was a kid, so I found this. The animated series, Stuart Little, Going for the Gold. Look at little Stuart Little. Here's the back. Uh, this is a Sony release. Join everyone's favorite mouse as he demonstrate what true champions are made of. Stuart hit and Stuart and his big brother George did you know he had a big brother? I didn't. Let's see. Race model trucks pursue world records, take part-time jobs, and totally clean the house. Good. Look at that. Look how ambitious this mouse is. Go Stuart Little. The next one I found was an original Superman. 17 episodes. Look at that. I thought that Superman looked Kind of Frankenstein-ish. Look at, see, look at it. Look at the jawline and the big forehead. Anywho, uh, this is an Echo Bridge release. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's 17 must-have Superman cartoons. Uh, this is from 1941. Wow. No wonder Superman is drawn like that. Oh, then I got more of it. The New Adventures of Superman. Uh, this is a Warner Brothers release, though. Wait, yeah, that was Echo Bridge. This is Warner Brothers. 
thrills come faster than a speeding bullet. Originally produced, this animated Superman was among the first Saturday morning cartoons showcasing the adventures of a superhero. Huh. It's, it doesn't say what year. Anywho. So this is the Warner Brothers Superman. And then you saw the 1941 Frankenstein Superman. Then I got this. And everyone's going to say it's the same one, but it's not. Green Lantern, the animated series, Rise of the Red Lanterns. This is a DC comic release. Maybe this was from an old haul and people are getting it confused. But I did not have this in my collection. So Green Lantern is back in DC radiant all new CGI animated series. Sworn to protect the Green Lantern Corps patrols the galaxy fighting evil. Yay Green Lantern. Uh, the next one is Crash Pad. Crash Pad. Uh, I didn't I guess a lot of people found this too. Two's Company, Three's a Nightmare. This is starring Christina Applegate, Thomas Hayden Church. He finally meets the love of his life. Then he, he met her husband. Huh? Oh boy. Let's see. Let me read the bag. This is a Sony release. A hopeless romantic thinks he's found true love with an older woman. Uh, but he learns that she's married and their encounter was an instrument of revenge of her neglectful husband. Sounds confusing. But is this like a watch for me? Then this sounds empty too. I found Project X, the hang Project X from the Hangover Producers. And we worked on this movie at Central. I didn't work on it personally, but I did help with it. There was a lot of young kids that wanted to work on this film. So this is about Project X follows three seemingly anonymous high school seniors as they attempt to finally make a name for themselves. Their idea is innocent enough. Let's throw a party that no one will forget. Oh boy. Trouble with a capital T. Teenagers. The next one I found was Spring Breakdown. Paybacks a Beach. Warner Premier, Amy Polar, Parker Posey, and Rachel Drent, Drent, Darch. Oh boy. Sorry. Here's the back. Um, I'm so sorry, everyone. The sticker's covering the synopsis. Anyway, it looks like a funny, funny, funny comedy. The next one, The Pink Panther classic cartoon collection MGM release that looks cute 27 original cartoons for the Pink Panther and then I found this oh sorry Betty Boop 42 classic cartoons look they rated PG I thought Betty Boop would be G here are all the cartoons uh, this is the Echo Bridge release this is 42 classic cartoons uh, Betty Boop. That's for all you Betty Boop fans. And now I found these are my stack of the Blu rays that I found. Oh boy, it was hard finding Blu rays with this haul. I tell you, it was 95% DVDs and 5% Blu rays. And most of the Blu rays were from the old hauls. So, anyway. Not that I'm complaining, I was just so shocked. So I found Super Bowl Champions of New Orleans Saints. New Orleans Saints. Um, I don't know if anybody else found that. Then I was so excited to find the Vanquisher. The Vanquisher. The Magnet release. Then I found... Brendan Fraser, Journey to the Center of the Earth. I think that's an old one. But I didn't care. It was a Blu-ray and I found it. Then I found the uh, Block Up with S Sylvester Stallone. And Universal S Soldier with Jean-Claude Van Damme and Dolph Lundgren. 
It's a double feature. These are right there. These are older movies, so I'm sure you saw them already. Then this is an upgrade. I found the Conan O'Brien Can't Stop. I know I had the DVD of this because it was in an early, early haul, I think last year or the year before. So I was excited for that. I was shocked to find this. Van Damme and the Order. This is Unleash the Power. It's an old Van Damme film. And I was just happy to find it. Then I know this was... I don't know if I bought it through Dollar Tree or through Hamilton Book, but I bought it again, Jurassic Dead. Evil always finds his way. It's a DVD combo. Then I know everyone found this too. Uh, Jonathan. I was excited to find any Blu-ray. Here's Jonathan. I'm not going to read the synopsis. I'm sure you already heard it. Then another upgrade for me to Lovers. I only had the DVD version from a previous Dollar Tree haul. Here's the back. Gwyneth Paltrow and Joaquin. Uh, I was excited to find Blitz with Jason Stratham. Yay. <laughs> and lastly, I found The Killing Season with Robert De Niro and John Travolta. Blu-ray and DVD combo pack. I already have this on Blu-ray, but this one had a different cover. So I was excited to grab it. That was my first, no, second trip to the Dollar Tree. We covered everything, but now we are going to show you what you could win in this episode drawing. Let's go over what the new rules are or boundaries or whatever you want to call them. So you must, the winner must be living within the United States. And you need to be a subscriber to my channel in order to be eligible to win. Other than that, that's it. So in this one, we're going to, I'm giving two digital codes away and I covered it up for sure. Once upon a Deadpool. And then this is the Brad Pitt film, Allied. And then I decided to get creative and if you like the show Criminal Minds, terrific. This is the fourth season. This is season five through eight. You can win all this in this drawing. And let's see. The password will be criminal. Get it? Criminal. All right. Whew. That's it. Goy Hunter covered everything. Hopefully you're still up. And Goy Hunter out. Arrivederci. Be safe out there. And wear your mask. I forgot to say one more thing. Please like. Subscribe. And the random comment picker will pick the winner. So write your comments below. And hit that notification button. So you know the next time the Goy Hunter is going to be yapping and yapping and yapping. Okay, bye. Have fun tonight.